What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a special episode of Today in the NA. I'm your host, Brandon Hofstra, joined here with Kirsten Kroll. It's official. We're down to four teams remaining in the 2024 season as we are here in Blaine, Minnesota for the Robertson Cup. That's right, Brandon. We have got the Lone Star Brahmas, Anchorage Wolverines, Minot Minotauros, and the Maryland Black Bears all here in Blaine, Minnesota at Fogarty Arena in pursuit of the coveted Robertson Cup. Let's take a look at how all has made it here to close out the season. The seeding goes as following with the Lone Star Brahmas at one, the Minot Minotauros at two, the Maryland Black Bears at number three seed, and the Anchorage Wolverines at fourth. The Lone Star Brahmas finished the regular season 44-10-3-3 with 94 points. In the division semifinal round, they defeated the New Mexico Ice Wolves 3-1, and in the division finals, defeated Shreveport 3-1. The number one overall seed Lone Star Brahmas come into the Robertson Cup as a team that's been at the front of the pack all season long. Brahmas got hot early in the season as they ripped off a 9-1 stretch in October to catapult them atop of the South Division standings and they never looked back. A 12-game point streak to close out December gave them a comfortable lead in the standings that never seemed in jeopardy. Lone Star has always been known for their defense, and the 2023-24 is no exception. The Brahmas allow just 109 goals or 1.8 goals per game throughout the regular season, which tops in the league. What sets them apart this season is their offensive ability. With 206 goals scored, that doesn't put them near the top of the league, but it did give them the best goal differential in the league at plus 97. Ivan Zadvernuk led the offense with 64 points, and his 21 goals were good for fourth on the club. Brock James, Justin Kerr, and Jacob McDonald all tied the team lead with 22. The Brahmas boast two of the best goalies in the league with Jack Wieneke and Devis Roloffs were ranked first and third respectively in goals against average. Wieneke led the league in save percentage and shutouts. After winning the NAHL's regular season title, Lone Star knocked off New Mexico in the division semifinals in four games. They followed that up with a four-game victory in the division finals against the longtime rival Shreveport Mudbugs. This is the first time Lone Star has reached the Robertson Cup since they won it all in 2017. The Anchorage Wolverines are getting accustomed to making it to the Robertson Cup. They've only been around for three seasons, but they're already making their second trip to Blaine, Minnesota. You may recall their Cinderella run back in their inaugural season in 2021-2022, where they came up just one game short against the New Jersey Titans. Unlike the rest of our Robertson Cup teams, Anchorage was not the leader in the clubhouse all season long. They had a good start to their season, but hung around in second or third place for the first half of the season. Then after being swept by the at the time first place Wisconsin Windigo, the Wolverines made their move. To close the season, the Wolverines got points in 20 of their last 21 games and included a 12 game winning streak and a 19 game point streak. Theodore Nicolania led the way with 27 goals and 64 points. Bryce Monrayan was right behind him with 21 goals and 62 points. Romulus Riego de Dios also had 21 goals for Anchorage. Liam Bierman got the majority of starts in goal and finished the season with 27 wins, tied for the most in the North American Hockey League. He's been sensational in the playoffs as he's 6-1 with a 1.56 goals against average and a .950 save percentage to go with two shutouts. The Midwest Division champions needed four games to take care of the Minnesota Wilderness in their first round matchup. They then broke out the brooms in the Midwest Division Finals as they needed just three games to beat Wisconsin. The Maryland Black Bears finished the regular season 41-14, 2-3 with 87 points. Division semifinals round as they defeated New Jersey 3-0. And the division finals defeating Maryland 3-2. The Black Bears are back as they are the first team to make back-to-back -back appearances at the Robertson Cup since the Aberdeen Wings made consecutive trips in 2019 and 2021. The Black Bears started the season with a series split with Johnstown and then went on to win three games at the NAHL Showcase to start the year 4-2. They continued to roll early on in the year by getting points in 13 of their next 14 games. After closing out 2023 with a tough stretch, Maryland won seven of their eight January contests to reassert themselves as the top dog in the East Division. Captain Dimitri Kibrew led the team with 33 points and 52 points and was tied for second in goals with 19. Jeremy Tremblay was the team's leader in goals with 22 and finished the year with 44 points. In the postseason, the captain has put the team on his back with six goals and 10 points in eight playoff contests, including three goals in their elimination game against Maine. Owen Leepak has been the guy in the blue paint as he's had all five playoff wins for his club, supporting a 1.43 goals against average and a .947 save percentage to go with one shutout. So far this postseason, 
The Black Bears swept the New Jersey Titans in the division semifinals, then came back from being down two games to one to defeat the Nordiques and win the series in a decisive fifth game on home ice. The Minot Minotauros, similar to the Lone Star Brahmas, have been front runners all season in the Central Division. After kicking off the season with a 3-1 showing in Blaine, the Minotauros ripped off a run of points in 13 of 15 games. Then in December, Minot went streaking as they took home nine straight wins to create some separation in the standings. The Minotauros won another nine straight in March to set themselves up to wrap up the division in Bismarck in early April. Minot got it done on both ends of the ice as they were second in goals allowed at 125. They also ranked tied for eighth in goals scored, which gave them the league's second best goal differential at plus 83. Leading the offense is Jack O'Hannison, who led in both goals with 29 and points with 61. Joel Lettinen was second on the club with 51 points and third in goals with 16. However, right now the hottest player in the league is Nicholas Sawecki as he has seven goals and 11 points in just seven postseason games. They've got a two-headed monster in the crease with Brady James and Lucas Sweden as both have three wins and great numbers in the playoffs. James got the majority of the crease in the regular season with 24 wins and a .917 save percentage. Minot has steamed rolled through the playoffs as they swept Austin in the opening round, outscoring the Bruins 19-3. They needed four games to dispatch the Bismarck Bobcats, dominating on home ice before closing out the series on the road. This is Minot's first trip back to the Robertson Cup since falling to the Shreveport Mudbugs in the 2018 title game. If you can't make it out in person to catch the games at Fogarty Arena, no worries. You can follow along on NATV.com and also be sure to follow along on all of our social media channels. Signing off for today in the NA, she's Kirsten Kroll. I'm Brandon Hofstra and we'll catch you next time.